Jake, what are you doing? Where are you going? Yummy. Y'all, he may have forgot. I did not forget. Y'all, he may have forgot. I did not forget. Um, hello, how are you? Hi, guys. How are you? You type in reminds me of Gabby Hanna. God damn it. I'm looking up the definition of stoic because someone used it in a word the other day and I, I didn't, uh, I've heard the word before, but I'm not too familiar with it. Thanks for the music. <laughs> have you watched Conjuring? I have not. So stoic is a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. A member of an ancient philosophical school of stoicism. Another term for stoic is a look of stoicism. What is stoic personally? Being a stoic is being calm and almost without any emotion. When you're stoic, you don't show how you feel, and you also accept whatever is happening. The noun stoic is a person who's not very emotional. Someone yelling, crying, laughing, glaring is not stoic. <sighs> I guess I'm stoic. Someone called me that the other day. <coughs> um, Alex, your music made me weep. I appreciate that. Thank you. I cried from the song. Thank you. I think. Are we going to have an editing quiz? I'm putting together a program for everyone where it's like an editing kind of quiz or like a, not a quiz because I hate the word quiz, but like an editing program where you can like, um, it's kind of like a hoot where I, it's, I'll explain it when I have it closer to done, but it'd be fun to like do it with everyone on here. And, uh, Alex, you're hot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How does it feel to have your music on Spotify Japan? Um, on it, that's pretty cool. I Spotify is really, or like even music in general, they're very like permanent, like persistent on showing you how worldwide your song is. Where for me, it's like you know when I put out a YouTube video, I don't think about people like from England and Australia and, and Japan and, and all these different places that watch my vlogs. I don't really like think about it because it's like I just put out a vlog and I kind of just move on with my day. I don't think of like who's watching it. It is so cool to like actually dive into analytics and like um, whether it's YouTube or, it, or it's music or it's uh, TikTok, it's really interesting to see how like f international people who are consuming your content are. And I think it's so cool. I'm so obsessed with it now. I won't stop looking at the uh, analytics of that, but it's really it, like on YouTube and on uh, on TikTok you see like um, you see yeah on like TikTok especially it just shows you like oh thirty percent from Australia and it doesn't show you the amount of numbers that are actually associated with that so like I I always undersell myself so when I see thirty percent of that I'm kind of like oh that's cool like a couple thousand people and then I realize how like. You know, I've, I've been able to have over 14 million followers, and then I actually think about 30% of that is so nuts. So with Spotify and Apple Music, they show you exact the exact number of people and where they are and when they're listening, which is just so sick. So like it says here, if I go to my audience, I'll show you guys my analytics here for Spotify. Um, so if you guys don't know what this is, this is artists... Um, like this is the art, what we see when we put out a song. So when I put out a song, this is my home. It shows me how many people are listening right now and all that cool stuff. And then you go to music. This is the song, One More I Love You. And then I can go to like releases. And so like it's only one song released so far. So it's that. And then playlists. And it shows me all the playlists that the song is on and like how many views came from those playlists. And then you can see like all the, you know, fan created playlists or even like user created playlists right here. And if I go to audience, I can see, like, listeners, how many listeners are, have listened to the song. And then, like, uh, each day, how many new listeners have listened to it. And then streams right here. So it's, like, 240,000 that day. And, like, the, the curve of it. And then it shows me the percentage of female, male, non-binary, and non-specific people, which is really, really cool. Um, and then... Um, shows me all that cool stuff. I, I don't know. I feel like this would be interesting for a lot of people. And then it shows listeners who also like, so like, if you listen to my song, you'd also like listen to these guys. And then top countries. So this is the coolest part is like United States. It shows me those listeners and like Canada shows me these guys, Norway, which is just so cool. I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. It shows me like a map of it. 
and then um, top cities too. So it'll show me like the cities of people that are listening in. So like if I wanted to, this is predominantly for people who want to do like shows and stuff. If they want to figure out what shows they, like what cities they should do a show in, it'll say like um, Los Angeles. And then it'll say in LA, Los Angeles, how many people are listening to your songs? And then from there, like once I have like a couple of songs out, it'll help me like figure out what city people like me in. Or at least like predominantly like if, if see how like, um, Oslo's here, and let's say I was going on a 10-stop tour, I'd most likely just do the top 10 right here. So like Los Angeles, New York, Melbourne, Atlanta, Dallas, like all that. So like obviously, Stockholm, Sweden, Sydney, anyway. But I got that information, which is really cool. I never understood why they did it until I really thought about it. It was like concerts and stuff. Like if you're doing a tour or even a concert, like people would want to know. Can I teach you how to read analytics? See, I would teach you how to read YouTube analytics, but see, the problem with YouTube analytics is it tells you how much I make. Um, so I prefer not to show you guys that. Uh, your pick's still wrong on Apple Music. Ah, uh, they fixed it, actually, this morning. But yeah, it was wrong for a solid week. It was uh, on a different Alex one. I wonder if that guy's gotten any comments. Can I find him somehow? Let's go to Instagram. How funny would that be? I don't know. Okay, and then, um, how would I find him? Because I was about to just look up Alex Warren, but then I realized every time I look up Alex Warren, it's just a bunch of fan pages. You know, the typing is taking me out. Why is it taking you out? You can take everything I am. <clears throat> oh, YouTube Music followed me on Twitter. That's very nice. Balls to Cancer? Yeah. Following them. Sorry, guys. I am completely zoning out right now. Tracy Patrick Chan. I don't know who's that. Um, okay. Is there anything you guys want me to specifically talk about today? Because I'm super down. I just want to, like, hone in on it. Did you see the GTR? What do you... What do you think of the Liberty Walk GTR? Um, I, I, I love it. It's my dream car. But I, I'm really excited about what's happening with the Super right now. We're changing the color. And we put a... A massive wing on it. We nosed it. We have a big turbo in it and a bunch of stuff that's going to be revealed obviously later this week. But we changed the wrap color that's going to be happening. So I'm pumped. What is your shirt size and favorite color? I'm an extra large. And my favorite color would be like pink or salmon. You love it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to? Are you ready for dinner? Oh, yeah, we're leaving at like 7, yeah? Yeah, so like 30 minutes. E. 20 minutes. Can Mia sing? Yes, she can. When you choose a new color, what's that process like? Um, when I choose a new color, a lot of people, like, I don't like to do this, but a lot of people, like, render it onto a, a car, like, on, a, like, a photo. It's like, oh, that's what it would look like. Um, I don't like doing that just because after I tried that one time, it just, it, it doesn't end up looking like the way it w looked rendered. It either looks way better or way worse. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm a huge fan of balls to the wall and just do it. Uh, but I'm obsessed with like pink cars right now, so I really, really, really want to do like a pink, uh, pink car. So I, I'm just feeling it out, having fun. Mm -hmm. but I'm, uh, I'm working with this company called Anazatech now, which is really cool. I've, I've used a few of the wraps. If you guys don't remember my Tesla Model X, um, <laughs> Calvin's TikTok just got banned. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, are you doing reaction vids on your song? I thought you said you.
good? All right. Um, you should come back to you should come to Lollapalooza. I heard Jaden's performing. Ooh, should I go to Lollapalooza? Lollapalooza. When is that? Thursday, July 29th. That'd be cool. It's in Chicago. Jesus. Let me see. When is Jaden performing at Lollapalooza? Um, Jaden, 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 Jaden. Oh, Jaden is with Quinnen and DJ Travis Mills. Ooh, Travis is doing that? Travis was at my house yesterday. That's fucking sick. Who else is doing it? Mm. Jack Harlow, Suicide Boys. Ooh. I'd be kind of down to go. That'd be kind of sick. Do you like Blue the dog? Of course. That thing is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so nice. Here's a crazy idea. You should come to Iceland. Iceland? How many miles away is that from me? I love looking this shit up. Iceland. Near me? Question mark? Um, that was a dumb way to look that up. Why don't I just look up Iceland? Maps. And then directions to Iceland. Um, from here. I want to just know, tell me how many fucking miles away it is. It's not even telling me how many miles. What about a flight? Flights LAX to Iceland. 1200 bucks. Los Angeles to Iceland. Um, non stop only. There's no non stop flights to Iceland? I don't know how many miles it is. Sorry. I could just probably Google it actually. How many miles? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Is Iceland away? 4,363. Okay, that's not bad. It, Hawaii's like 2,000, I think, or 3,000. When are you and Thomas going to post your next YouTube video? My next YouTube video will be out on Saturday. Yo, Alex. Hi, Aiden Ply. Why does that name sound familiar? Noah said that TikTok became a job, so he stopped posting because it wasn't fun anymore. What advice do you have for someone wanting to start? Um, I think that... Noah's right in his own way, but for me, I always wanted it to be a job, so I didn't mind if it felt like that. It just depends on how you go about it, really. I think Noah is a very kind-hearted soul, and he posts on TikTok for fun, and, you know, the job just kind of came with it. Where, like, with me, I started posting on TikTok, not just because it was fun, but I wanted to, like, I wanted to have a job in social media. Um, so I, I really loved it. I loved the fact that it felt a job. I loved the fact because I felt like I was doing something productive because... I don't just do dances, you know, like I, I do like, I come up with creative ideas or I'm filming with my girlfriend and it's just fun comedy things. Like it's not really something where it's like, oh, I should do this dance because it's viral. It's like, I want to film something I want to film. And it, thankfully I have people who like what I do. Like, to be honest, I, I just started shit posting on TikTok after like, I kind of, I hit like, I hit 300, no, 1 million. I was at 1.4 million just from, you know, doing fun trends with Cover that weren't like the comedy things we do now. They were just like cute, like, like sounds. And then I posted a video with Cover where um, it was just n how we normally act with each other. Cause I, I wouldn't say we're totally different from a conventional cu a couple, but we do like, you know, act a little different. So I started filming it, like her yelling about how she was hungry and, and stuff like that. And um, I just started filming everything and just shit posting it. And, it started getting millions of views and people liked it. And I was like, oh, like, I guess people want to see the side of us. So I just kept posting it. Um, keep up with your stuff. Thank you, Aiden. I remember when you guys were just starting out. Yeah, it was, a, it was a video in the car. It was We were at a bonfire party. And we don't like to party. And everyone started getting drunk. So we just started waiting in the car. Because I didn't have a car at the time. So I was in one of my friend's cars. And I'm all, always the DD. And Cobra doesn't drink. So we were both like dds on spot and so we were like okay we'll let them have fun down here we'll go up to the car and so we just started sitting in the car talking and she started acting funny and, and i started filming it and so that was the first one and then the second one was kiss me like a dinosaur where she was like kiss me like a dinosaur and i was like what and i started filming that when did you start singing um hi 
What are you doing? Nothing much. Nothing much. Um, I don't know. I, I it sucks because I, I'm gonna give you the most stereotypical fucking influencer answers. Like I, I, hey, I'm live by the way. I um. What are they doing? I I just I was singing when I was a kid. Like whenever I wanted to. I mean I'm not the fucking I'm not insane, but like I I go to vocal lessons now and I'm I've just been singing when I was a kid very pitchy but singing uh, so then you suggest making original content or original sense and not using trends um, it just depends on how big the trend is like I'll jump onto a trend if it's like really big and I think it's something that me and Cobra can do but like I will never do a dancing trend because I can't dance and I don't like dancing so like if it was something that I can make funny I would do it um I just don't like doing serious social media stuff unless it's like the music because it's like kind of making you want to cry and I, I think that it's something that resonates with people but when I don't feel that same way with dancing where like Charlie she feels like when she dances when she dances it makes her feel like she like you know very emotional and she has this connection with it and people have that connection with her dancing where like me I don't have that same connection with dancing so like I would sing but um with content wise, it just depends on what you do too. Like there's people who just do trends and it does phenomenal for them and you, they also come up with trends. But with me specifically, it's very like biased. I just do trends that make sense for me. Like things that I would want to do. I don't force myself to do trends because they're fucking blowing up. So like if I see a, a bunch of trends like the Adult Swim one on my For You page, I didn't come up with anything for the Adult Swim one. I didn't really want to do it because it seemed more like filmmaky, creative where I was, I'm more like, you know, like not filmmaking, but I definitely just like holding a camera and, and filming whatever funny thing is happening at the moment. So it made no sense for me to want to do the trend. Um, it's not that they're exhausting. A lot of people feel the same way as like with my job is like a lot of people feel like TikTok's exhausting because of the way it is. But um, a lot of people find trends to be really easy and really fun. And for me, I, I could, I'll do a trend once a month. Well, yeah, there's not a lot of people doing comedy on TikTok. Like, Vine was very comedy-based, where TikTok's very dance-based. Vine was, like, literally only comedy. And then you have, like, Shawn Mendes and, like, a few other singers, and, and, you know, people would make comedy videos to those. So it's, like, TikTok is just very much music-oriented and dancing-oriented. So it's, like, the comedy people are pretty, pretty like, down there. But if you can, like, find a way around it. And, like, I think, girl, like, couple videos is really good. A couple videos are pretty popular. I can't tell if... Because I've been doing a couple of videos from the beginning, like pretty early in it, and I can't tell if I was like one of the people who like started doing it on TikTok first, nor would I ever claim to be. But I'm very interested to see like what other couples on TikTok are like doing, like some stuff similar to what I'm doing. I've never really thought about that. Talk about fan pages. I love you guys so much. I know I don't show it a lot. Like I, I watch all of your shit. I don't know. It's so fun. Like, going to bed, you get, like, since I follow a lot of my fan pages, too, just saying that shit when I, before I go to bed is fucking amazing. Sexy, Warren, horny, Warren, whatever the fuck you guys come up with is funny. It's so interesting. Sorry. I have the hiccups right now. Most of the couples I see are the older couples. Yeah, same. I see a lot of the Darla girl who does, like, that baby voice. And then I see, what TikTokers are still dating? I see Jaden and Nessa sometimes. Who, someone, oh, Noah and Dixie a lot. Avani and Anthony, good amount of times. I see Anthony's TikToks a lot on my For You page. I saw Chase and Charlie the other day on my For You page. That's cool. It's nice to see, like, I remember filming a bit with, like, um, at the first Hype House, I filmed a bit with Anthony and Avani, and it's really cool that they're still together. That's so sick. Yes, I know the baby voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Alex. I'm going to go sleep. Bye. I only seen Jaden and Nessa. You already know. Yeah, I mean, I'm. it's just hard for me because, like, I know a lot of stuff, but also, like, I've talked to Jaden and Nessa, and I hate getting involved with drama, so I'll never, like, jump into it, but, like, they're so happy, and, like, I really care about... I care about Mads, I care about Jaden, I care about Josh, and I care about, um, Jaden, Nessa, Mads, Josh. Yeah, I care about those four people. Um, 
and they all seem to be doing fine right now. So, I mean, like, if they're, like, okay now, and, and you know, Maz is happy with, I think his name's Christian, right? Or am I thinking of the wrong person? Christian. And I love how I'm talking about this. This doesn't even pertain to me, but I love Jaden and Vanessa. I love them as people. Hi, Jed. Alex, you add sound design to your vlogs, like in addition to music? Yes, so I do a lot of sound design um, behind the scenes um, and a lot of meshing of audios and, and you know, there's a lot of, it's so funny. If you guys watched the raw clips of my vlogs, it'd be like, what the fuck am I watching? Like a lot of times when I have props and stuff, like those ambulances and those police cars, like there's never actually any noise to them. I always just put that in and then fade it out and then put some like uh, equalizers on it um, and then some different sound components. But it's so funny. I feel like sometimes it's really obvious and sometimes it's like you wouldn't know, but I'm also the one editing it. So I see the before and after. So it's really easy for me to like, tell how were you when you started youtube i was 11 yeah there's a separate account i was using which i won't get into hey cal how are you buddy i haven't seen those vlogs yeah um i wonder if people have found it alex warren one through or alex man one through three two Yeah, 240 subs, baby. <laughs> Alex, holy crap. I wonder if Patty and Kevin are in this video. They are. They are in this video. Yeah, these are from like years ago. That's so funny. And I give you all of me. comments turned off on that it's a fucking gold video can you tell everyone in the high pass that i love them and you guys honestly make me so i'm gonna assume you said happy um yes if you lost everything and come back from it what would you do to be on top again um do me i don't know like i i don't think that i've ever been on top like i don't think i ever will be either i think i'll just be you know i'll be good alex warren versus lewis capaldi boxing match i feel like the fucker would kick my ass to be honest Never had a conversation with him, but I feel like he would he would genuinely just fuck me up. Are you gonna be a famous actor one day? I love the music video. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I like acting, but at the same time I think I'm dog shit at it, so I don't really try. Um I think eventually like I'll do everything. Like I wanna guest star on oh, I wanna guest star on Nickelodeon one day, just to fuck around, like for an episode or two. Um, but nothing like nothing nothing too serious, you know? You and Lewis Capaldi should meet. I, I, I like that guy. He seems cool. I love his music. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, you guys see David Dobrik's back? What do you guys think about that? That's cool. I wonder how his video did. Damn, 4.2 million views in a day? Fucked. That's good. Would you ever play football? Um, I did. I played football. When's the next vlog? Uh, it'll be Saturday. I just wanted to make sure I had a good one. I have a really good vlog like in the next two weeks, but until then, I'm, I'm chilling. Gabby Hanna exposes Trisha Paytas in a clip of a fight between the two previously cut from the podcast they did together. Gabby alleges she met Trisha at Joey Cressetta's surprise party. Then Trisha went on to Shane Dawson's podcast and spoke negatively about it. Gabby and Ricky. Oh my God, so much drama. Is Vinny gonna stream today? That's a good question. I think he's just enjoying himself. He came home a few days ago and he's just chilling. Who's Brendan Cox? Sounds familiar. Author of Champions Eyes, Business, Blur of Cox Visuals, Team System, and more. I've seen this guy. Where have I seen him? Oh, he wrote. Um. Wrote an article. That's really cool. That's pretty sick. This guy from Influensive. That's a cool fucking. That's dope. Um, how are you on road trips? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm not too bad on road trips. I, I hate road trips, but I'm pretty good at them. 
Do you have a favorite color? Um, I love pink or salmon, but it's such a weird fucking thing to like. Like, most people are like, oh, I like this color. I like, I like salmon, dude. So I missed the answer. Are you making a reaction video? I am. I'm making a reaction video of some of my friends. Not all of them, because a lot of them, like, it, it's a pretty important song to me, so I didn't go too crazy on it, on the, like, filming part of it. Um, but yeah, I had a good amount of people um, react to it. I had Tana, Harry, a few others. Hey, honey, I'm still alive. Hi. Just gotta get ready for uh, dinner. Do you want me to turn my music off? Pardon? Do you want me to turn my music off? That don't matter. i <laughs> What should I wear? I have no clue. I can't hear you. I don't see you now. Wrapped in your regret. Oh, this is a this is a vibe in here, baby. Oh. I wanna feel love. I'm, I'm getting ready for dinner. What should I wear? What color? Should I just wear this, honey? Okay. Should I just wear this? It's gonna be hot. Oh, so I should wear this. Well, this is the first time you're letting me wear shorts to dinner? Well, yeah. I don't want to be miserable. She hates it when I wear shorts to dinner. Do you like these shorts, though? Do they make my butt look big? Huh? Do they make my butt look big? What shorts make your butt look big? Do these shorts make my butt look big? Show your shirt up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can't hear you. I don't. You, I don't.